my name is Letitia Caceres and I'm the director of Children of the Black Skirt. The way that we developed the play was um, through a series of creative developments. The first creative development we did uh, was actually in Rockhampton in an orphanage uh, that was uh, vacant um, where we were able to kind of explore the surrounds and um, enter into the building and get a sense of place. Um, particularly, um, this particular orphanage was special in terms of the creative development because it inspired the, the writer initially. She'd been there as a child. So we um, invited a group of actors to come with us and we spent uh, pretty much a day wandering through this very, very um, scary place um, and getting a sense of what it would have been like to have lived there. It was important to us to consult with um, Indigenous elders as we were developing the work because we wanted to talk about Indigenous issues and themes. Um, we went through a process whereby we met with a number of elders and discussed the play. Uh, and we also worked very, very closely um, with actors who are of Indigenous background. Um, and the process allowed for us to ensure that we were telling stories that were accurate and true. Um, and ensured that we didn't repeat the same mistakes of the past, particularly with cultural context, context and Indigenous people. Each story uh, finishes with uh, the actor re uh, releasing the spirits by flicking a sheet. And the reason why we did that is because it allows for the story to have a sense of closure and it allows us to kind of convey through physical action uh, that the spirit is being uh, freed from uh, the walls of the institution of the orphanage. There's a, an ongoing sound of a crying baby um, which uh, throughout the night you hear crying and, and um, wailing for its mother. To me the symbolism of the crying baby um, is about the angst and pain that has been um, silenced and hidden away um, and in this case, it's in the orphanage walls. Um, what I love most about being a director is collaborating with actors. Uh, I really enjoy the process of getting into a room and uh, rediscovering a text um, in terms of space and time. Uh, I think that's my favourite my favorite moment. What I least like about being a director is um, all the hard work of getting a play to actually go up. Um, you know, you have to do a lot of hustle to, to make sure that a play gets produced. I love making plays for young audiences because I uh, very, very firmly believe that young audiences are the most challenging audience. Um, they're not a polite audience and that means that I have to work extra hard in order to make sure that the work engages them and entertains them. Um, if I could give any advice uh, to students thinking about becoming directors, I would say absolutely go for it. But don't stage an epic. <laughs> Try to uh, start uh, with plays that are small. I started with 10 minute plays that weren't overly challenging for me. And then once I felt that I was ready, I would take on bigger projects.